In this demo, we will understand how to set up Chef Workstation, create and bootstrap Chef Client on the Amazon Cloud, and install Infra and Automate servers. Whether you are working on a Windows, Macs, or Linux machine, the first step to getting started is installing Chef Workstation, a collection of tools that enables you to create, test, and run Chef code. Chef Workstation is the admin console that makes interaction between Chef Server and Chef Nodes possible. To install the Chef Workstation, visit the download page and select the latest version based on your operating system. As I am using Mac OS, I'll download Mac OS's latest version. Once the download and installation are completed, run the command chef-v. You will see details like the version of the Chef workstation you are running, version of Chef Infra Client, version of CookStyle, and so on. Next, we need two EC2 instances on the Amazon Cloud. One will act as a host for Chef Automate and Chef Infra servers, and the other as a host for Remote or Client node, which we will bootstrap and connect to the Infra server. Note that you can use any of the primary cloud providers or on-prem servers to install these tools. You can set up your Infra and Automate servers on a single host or in two standalone machines. In this demo, I will use a Bash script that will install both the Automate and Infra servers on a single host. Refer to the Chef documentation if you want to install it on two separate standalone machines. Now, in one of the instances, I will create a Bash script to download the latest version of Chef Automate and Chef Infra servers. The Bash script contains the server address and a few mandatory system variable settings. It also includes steps to download and install the servers with default settings. Assign proper permissions to the file using the command chmode plus x file name and ensure that the file is executed using the command dot forward slash file name. The execution and health check will take around four to five minutes. Once the installation is complete, the login credentials are placed in a file called automate credentials. You can run the command chef automate status at any time to check the status of all the services. Next, set up the credentials file using the knife configure init config command, which will ask a series of security questions before finally generating the credentials file. This file will be located in your workstation under the .chef directory. Finally, copy the client key file from your Chef server to your workstation. From the command line, run knife to fetch the SSL key. Check it and confirm the configuration. Knife SSL fetch. Knife SSL check. Knife client list. Now let us understand what a node is and how to bootstrap a node. A node is any physical, virtual, or cloud device configured and maintained by a Chef Infra client. Bootstrapping is the process of installing Chef Infra client on a target system so it can run as a client. This sets the node up for communication with the Chef Infra server. You can achieve this by running the following workstation command, knife bootstrap. Let us use the Chef workstation to bootstrap a Chef client. You can name the code based on your preferences. In this case, I am naming it AWS Ubuntu. You can view the details of the client node with the command knife node list, or verify the details from the Chef Automate dashboard. In the following demo, we will create our first cookbook and recipe, check the syntax, and push the cookbook to the Infra server 
and execute them on Chef Client.